While there were multiple inventors working on multiple methods to create color photographs in the 1800s, the first color photograph is generally considered to be unveiled by Scottish physicist James Clerk Maxwell in 1861. James Clerk Maxwell FRSE FRS was a Scottish mathematician and scientist responsible for the classical theory of electromagnetic radiation, which was the first theory to describe electricity, magnetism and light as different manifestations of the same phenomenon. Maxwell's equations for electromagnetism have been called the second great unification in physics, where the first one had been realized by Isaac Newton. Over two decades before Lippmann was developing his interference technique for color photos, Maxwell was hard at work and ready to define a new color theory that dictates the foundation of how we reproduce colors to this very day. Maxwell proposed the idea of taking photographs of a scene through red, green, and blue filters. Once the images were played back on projectors with matching filters, they would overlap to create a complete color image. Maxwell presented how the principle could then be applied to photography in 1861 during a lecture at the Royal Institution with his famous photograph of a tricolor ribbon. During an 1861 Royal Institution lecture on color theory, Maxwell presented the world's first demonstration of color photography by this principle of three-color analysis and synthesis. Thomas Sutton, inventor of the single-lens reflex camera, took the picture. He photographed a tartan ribbon three times, through red, green, and blue filters, also making a fourth photograph through a yellow filter, which, according to Maxwell's account, was not used in the demonstration. Because Sutton's photographic plates were insensitive to red and barely sensitive to green, the results of this pioneering experiment were far from perfect. It was remarked in the published account of the lecture that, if the red and green images had been as fully photographed as the blue, it, would have been a truly colored image of the ribbon. By finding photographic materials more sensitive to the less refrangible rays, the representation of the colors of objects might be greatly improved. Researchers in 1961 concluded that the seemingly impossible partial success of the red filtered exposure was due to ultraviolet light, which is strongly reflected by some red dyes, not entirely blocked by the red filter used, and within the range of sensitivity of the wet collodion process Sutton employed. Maxwell's photo was the first durable color photographic image. Oddly, Maxwell's method was pushed into the background while others, such as Lippmann, presented their results. However, by the late 1890s his work was being re-examined.